Hello, Road Rush Nation, and in this episode, we're going to talk about seats and what you can do to make your seat more comfortable for those long rides. So come along and join us. Hi Road Rush Nation, it's Terry, and I'm happy to share with you my secrets for making a long ride a lot more comfortable. So you get your new bike, and everybody's saying, oh, you gotta get a new seat. You know, the stock seat is horrible to sit on. Um, I've had the stock seat. It doesn't bother me one bit. In fact, I like it because of the clearance I got from the ground. It doesn't put me way up high. And I don't wanna pay five, $600 for a new frickin' seat. I just paid how many thousands for this beauty? Why should I do that? Well, I discovered a great product that I've been using for, oh, four or five years that is fantastic for your long rides. What this is, is called the Air Hawk seat cushion. You may have seen it, you may have heard of them. They are not cheap, and I'll tell you why, but well worth it. I'm gonna tell you why I discovered this product. Um, a few years ago, Aaron had a horrible motorcycle accident and hurt his hip. And basically, his riding was pretty limited. He couldn't ride for long periods of time because of the pressure on his hip. And there was no way we were giving up our cross-country rides. We just loved to go on them. So I went out and I says, I gotta find something to make him more comfortable. And you know, you look at the gel seats and you look at the foam seats and you go, oh, these are, these are great, people say. I'm all like, not really for long term. I've discovered Airhawks. One of the great things about Airhawk is it's a company that designs pads for truckers, but the thing that really sold me was they design pads for wheelchairs. If they're making pads for wheelchairs, you know they understand pressure points and how things need to be. These are not your typical, you'll see these cheap knockoffs at the rallies for these airbags just like these. In fact, I'm gonna take the insert out once I get to the right zipper here. Let me show you. You'll see that these, and you'll see the cheapy knockoff ones at a lot of, and I call them cheapy knockoffs because they're not the same as these, um, at a lot of the rallies. And they're okay, but they're not the same. These are designed for durability, the placement, the pressure points, because it's not just sitting on the airbag. It's, when you sit on it, the air should move through all the, the cells to give you pressure in other places and support in other places. And um, also for you men, these are designed the way the bags are, specifically for the men, so you're comfortable up front, if you know what I mean, just saying. But you don't put much air in these at all and they're fantastic. I have had mine, like I said, five years. Aaron just replaced his because his bellow, it started leaking from the, um, the valve just recently, and he's got a new one. It has made a world of difference in his comfort. Now, I don't have it installed properly on my bike, and the reason being, it'll strap underneath the front of your seat, and then it normally, it will, the instructions will tell you to strap it around here. The reason I don't do that is because when I need to take this off if I'm washing the bike or something, I always end up losing these little straps, so I just put it this way, just FYI why I do that. But this has given Aaron such comfort on these long rides that he can go. We can make our six, 700 mile rides without an issue. We may stop every 100 miles just so you can stretch your legs, but these are a world of difference. They're called Airhawk. I'll put a link in the description. These are so worth it. Yeah, they're a little more pricey, but you'll see a huge, huge difference. Mine's a little sun faded because I won't ride without it. I constantly, it's never off the bike, in fact, unless I take it to the shop or I'm washing the bike. Um, it's well worth it. Also, just another little thing for comfort is I have this, it's a Harley product, and it's basically an airflow that, you, it's a pad you put on the back of your seat. You'll see the same thing for your seat, but what it does is it gives you um, airflow behind you so that you don't have that sweaty back. I keep telling Aaron, he always complains, he gets off and he's all like, oh my God, my back's, I get off and I don't 
have any of that sweat because what it does is it lets the flow. I've had this one for like five, six years too. It lasts forever. It does make it a lot more comfortable on the long trips when you've got all that heat and such going on that you're not sweating on the back of you. So first thing is get your air hawk. Second thing is get your little airflow pad that you can get at any of your Harley dealerships. Well worth it. In fact, check because a lot of the Harley dealerships do carry the air hawks. Little pricey, totally worth it. It'll make your long rides enjoyable. All right, don't forget to keep watching each week because I've got more and more products that we're putting on the new Arctic Blast that I wanna share with you. We've got our garage door opener you don't wanna miss. You don't wanna miss the install on the underglow lights that we're gonna do. Aaron does these, it takes time, but it's so worth it. He's done it on like five bikes, both of ours and a couple of our friends that he's installed these on. Makes a world of difference for safety. I've got, oh, we're gonna be putting on a serious module on my bike and I wanna show you a secret about where to install the antenna. So not, make sure that you don't miss any of that. Make sure you subscribe. So join us next week because you never know what's the next product we're gonna be putting on the Arctic Blast. Thanks for joining us and have a great week and stay safe. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next adventure. Take care, ride safe, and enjoy life. Remember, life's too short, so let's go ride.